Hello, welcome to another special video review and today we've got the uh, Beast Box 52 Toys BB44ME So it's Mind Dust and Electric Eye <laughs> So yeah, uh, for those who uh, see my reviews, uh, I already reviewed those um, the, the, this is a set of four and I've already reviewed the two first sets and these are the two last that comes with it uh, It's the second pack that complements it. It's four uh, monkey looking robots that combines into a giant gorilla looking robot Looks awesome. I have the old ones right here So those are the uh, soul nato and shadow dance and uh, Yeah, they just released the other ones now the other ones are pretty 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 much the same except they are uh, uh, variant color so uh, what what's white is red and what's red is white that's pretty much where the difference is and we have a different uh, looking head so we have these two heads plus the combiners head is different on each so only the heads are different there's not much else different there's also one tiny bit of uh, changes that was brought to the figure and I really appreciate it uh, it's um, where can I find it I'll, I'll, I'll okay here those pegs right here in the back of the arms mine had stress marks so you can see there's heavy stress marks on mine and uh, yeah they removed those in this one in this set so um, this set doesn't have these pegs anymore uh, these made the figure much more solid but at the same time, as you can see, they were really hard to uh, remove without stressing them. So they just basically remove them. So now these ones are uh, have a little bit less solidity in cube mode. That's on the only where uh, the only place where the the peg is used in cube. But you know, at least we don't break the toys. <laughs> so yeah, we have right here mind dust and electric eye and box Lego stuff in the back. Uh, cube and robot here we have the combination here so we can see that each figure can either transform well this one uh, can transform either into an arm or a cube and this one can transform either into a cube or the top of the torso or the bottom of the torso so yeah that's actually pretty cool so yeah pretty much it for the box let's open it up and see what's inside Yoink. so right here we have figures and they just fell off <laughs> and in here we have instructions and the card so all right let's just remove everything then if they want to come out let's bring them out <laughs> so yeah when they come out just you know make them into a correct position so they can stand here we have the boxes yeah, I said stand there we go, and this one. So I'm just gonna move them real quick. Got the tail, and yeah, there you go. So uh, we have the cards and the bonus booklet. Let's see if the booklet was updated. I haven't checked it out yet. So whoop, I've got the card. Uh, we have the Mika thing. Uh, it's interesting, but I've never used it. Uh, these thing you just uh, bend, fold in two, and place it inside the box, and it acts as an eject sort of mechanism. I don't use it, but yeah, it's cool that they have the booklet right here. Let's see if it's updated. Do, the, do we have the new ones in there? And nope, it's still the same old, same old booklet. I'm really bummed about this. They could put an effort, make like, you know, show us the new stuff. Because they have really interesting new stuff coming up. They have uh, horses, they have dogs. Uh, they just put a new uh, par parakeet, uh, which is pink colored. It's so lovely, I'm going to try and get my hands on it. But yeah, there's so many more stuff. So, yeah. Get um, this. Cover this. There you go. <laughs> And then we have the cards. So we have Electric Eye and Mind Dust. So they, they complement each other. So you can add them like this. And if you have the other two cards, it makes one smallish posters. Uh, my cards are stored, so I don't have them anymore, but I do have them somewhere. And in the back, we have bio, stats, and yeah, that's pretty much it. 
So, cool. Not my thing, but pretty cool. Instructions. Now, transformation is uh, somewhat complex, but not that comp not that complicated. So, yeah, we have tons of mode. So, like I said, they, they are like almost triple changer combiner. So, there's lots of stuff to cover. So, yeah. <laughs> But they are the exact same as the other ones, so I'm not going to go too much in depth for the transformation. I uh, just want to compare a little bit with the other ones first. So we have like the different heads here. So it, it's different mold, so it's not the same. So that's, uh, that I actually appreciated. So that's cool, different molds. It'll look the same, but this one has like bumps. This one has like a more robotic helmet look I'm not too fond of the translucent face but eh, okay <laughs> and for the other one again they look a lot like each other but they are they, they are molded different so you can see just the top of the nose this one has like two tube on each side this one doesn't this one has like a more roundish top this one is more squared uh, this one has pipes on the side, this one doesn't. So yeah, small, small, small difference. And uh, just <laughs> just want to show the uh, combining head. The combining head is stuck in here. You open this up, open this up, bring this down, bring this over here like this. And this is the combiner's head. So I just want to compare how different they are, real quick. So open this, open this, close this, and there you go. So we have the other combining head. So there you go, we have the two different head. So this one looks more like a gorilla, I guess. <laughs> and this one looks more like, I guess that's a macaque. The one with the colorful nose and everything kind of looks cool. I like it. So yeah, they're pretty cool. So yeah, that's the only difference visually that we have. So yeah, I'm just gonna uh, place them correctly and come back after the uh, transformation. So I'm back. Here we have the cubes. I mean, the, these are the cubes from the old ones, but they're exactly the same. So I'll just transform them in cubes and just wanted to show how pretty similar they are in cubes. Just gonna move the camera a little bit. And yeah, they do fit in their boxes. There you go. And there you go. We have the boxes and the monkeys. <laughs> So that's, that's it, the transformation is uh, kind of complex, but not too com complicated at all. So yeah, I, I really love those, the transformation are great, and the look is pretty nice. I just wished we had like more difference than just the heads, and just a swap of color. So yeah, so uh, maybe we can go with the transformation into a combined mode, because this is what I want to uh, show the most. All right, with, let's start with the easiest one. So the monkey here can transform into one arm. Whether you choose to have the right or left doesn't really matter. It works on both ways. So yeah, first up, close the feet, close the feet, bring them straight down, straight down like this. Open up this tab right here and move the knee inside. So that the, just the knee pad is inside, so like this. And you straighten up the legs and you bring them down like this. And yeah, don't peg him right, right now because you now have to deal with the tail. So bring the tail straight as possible. Split open and then you bring the tail forward. Now the tail has like these two pegs on each side right here. These will peg inside here. So bring the legs in so this one is pegged like this. And then you bring the tail back in and you have a hole inside the tail right here at the tip which will peg inside here there's another peg so you bring it here and you peg it in there you go like this so it's pegged here and here like this and then you can close the leg and now you can peg everything together so you have this peg here and this peg here like this next up you bring the legs back like this 
All right, so we're done with the uh, shoulder part. The hand, pretty much, pretty easy. Separate the arms like this, like this. Open up this trap here. Fill in the head in and bring the whole hand part out like this. And then you want to close the fist in. So flip this open, close this, close this, and flip it like this. Bring the arms down like this, and this will peg in here like this. So we have this formation now. So we'll do the same on the other side. Flip this open, close this, close this. Bring the arm up like this, peg it in. Rotate this, and it's very squeaky. Now you want to peg the arms together here and together with the torso here. So there we have one arm done. You can rotate. Uh, this or this this is gonna be my uh, left arm I guess so we have one arm we have the fingers all articulated and yeah we have the arm that bends like this so you may want to move this so you have you know elbow bend like this so there we have one arm and we can do from the cube mode the arm of the other one so whether you were in robot mode or cube so yeah this brings over like this this close it in tab it in there you go on tab these on tab bring down on tab this on tab this bring the tail out on detach this the head is already uh, curled up inside so that's good bring it out like this we can tab the arms right now there you go already tabbed in and now we have the back leg to do. So bring them straight, bring one leg down, take the tail, bring it down, peg it in here on the thigh, make it rotate, and peg it inside the knee, like this. There we go. And then uh, flip this open, put the knee inside, put the knee inside, bring this down, and then collapse everything together make sure everything is stabbed perfectly and then bring the arm down and yeah there we go we have another arm done so this is going to be the right arm so now we have both arms done all right that's for the torso now we have like two torso which one are we going to do uh, whether we make uh, the top of the head or the bottom i'm going to take this one as the top of the head so all right let's do this first up open these up flip this down open these up close this in flip this down and this is going to be the combiner head so you want to flip this down close this in make sure you have this open like this because this will peg into the bottom part so you have this configuration now plug this plug this bring this like this uh, these arms needs to go down like this with the shoulder pads in the back like this close this and flip this open uh, on the other side like this so that the peg there's a peg right here goes inside and there we have one side done so let's do the same on the other side here close this make sure this shoulder pad is at the back and rotate it here like this and make sure this pad is outside like this. Next up you take the legs, flip them down like this, take the leg, flip it down like this, and now you bring the whole thing down, and uh, where is the peg? Oh, okay, the legs needs to be turned around, turned around like this, like this this will go down like this and now we have the peg hole right here that will peg into the arm so bring this like this inside the arm this one too inside make sure this is pegged there we have the torso as for the tail uh, you can just flip it like this and flip it like this and peg it in or uh, is it on the other side uh, like this in the back 
Uh, oop, I broke it. <laughs> Not broke it, but unpegged it. So yeah, like this, like this, and like this, and you peg this like this, and you leave it like that for now. So there we have the top torso all done. Looks like that. All right, let's go with the bottom part with the cube one. So uh, this one we need to unpeg the legs here at first. Unpeg here. The legs needs to be flipped out like this. And uh, where? Uh, how? Like this, I think. Where? 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 Something. Something is not okay. That that way. That way. So used to go like this. So flip this open. Bring this down. And this will straighten up like this, but you bend the knee and then you peg it in here like this. Take the arms, unpeg those, unpeg those, straighten them up. It will help. We're gonna get, tap it in to the torso. Oop. One, tap in. There you go, got one. Got two, bring these down like this, down like this. So now that we have like the shoulder pads act as knee pads. Now you bring this open like this, flip this open like this, open the uh, the hands, bring them forward, and now you bring the forearm down and you flip the toes out. I really like this transformation, it's really clever. So flip the arm down, flip the toes out. And you have like this tiny part right here that you flip down and you clip it in. So you have a sort of a strut support on the ankles. So there we have legs done. These needs to be straightened up like this. And uh, yeah, the tail, just leave it like that. And we're done with this. So now all you have to do is take the torso and you have like this plug right here that will stick in here. So go ahead and plug it in. Uh, do, 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 do. Before, oops, not too much. There you go, plug it in, plug it in. Kind of hard to see. One. Just bent. Ah, just bent again. Why? <laughs> there you go, straight. Does it want to go in? Uh, oh, maybe this. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, got, I figured it out. Uh, the tail needs to flip over like this, and this torso over in like this, and the legs. Now it goes like this, and yeah, they were upside down, so like this. So the the holes are facing backward. So let's bring this straight, straight. There we go. Now it's all right. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> so now it should all connect. Bring the tail down and connect everything. There we go. Now, I thought these would plug in, but they don't, so they just rest like that. So we have the upper torso. We can bring... I, we can leave the tail down right here, and this one close on top. And this panel go down, so... Yeah, storage. So we just take the arms now, and we have like these holes right here, so we just plug it in. It's pretty tight. It fits. There we go. And we have the combiner. The combiner, whether it was Primus, the name it was. A really cool big figure. Awesome. And yeah, it's circulated. The head can move left, right. The arms, you can't rotate them like this. You have to push and then it rotates. As soon as you leave it, it holds. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we have rotation of the elbow. We do have elbow bent wrists, the fingers are all articulated, 
Uh, we don't have, yeah, we do have a waist. Don't have an ab crunch. Uh, the legs can move forward, backward, knee bend. Do have ankle tilt. So actually, we do have a lot of articulation. And I really dig this guy. He is really awesome. <laughs> now again, like I said, we can exchange from the head, from the top of the bottom. Doesn't change a lot of the color. Uh, just the sort of the the face. So yeah, really cool. I really love this. I hope the 52 Toys or 52 Toys uh, gives us more combiners. But I just hope we have uh, more um, variety. You know, not just color repaints. It's I think it's lazy. I don't like the color repaints, but I really love this guy. He looks awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. I really love this guy. Love it. Backpack cleans up fairly nice. Do have the tails here, but like I said, we can uh, store them in the back. I like to leave the tail down like this. Give sort of a double tail, <laughs> but uh, yeah, really cool figure. I love this, the, the look of it, and uh, yeah, I don't have much else, so I'm just goshing over it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much it for the uh, 552 five, Toys uh, Mind Dust and Electric Eye uh, BB44-34E, uh, yeah, 34ME. So yeah, I really recommend this set. Uh, like I said, I'm not a fan of the uh, whole repaint and just selling us the same toy over. But they make a really cool combiner and that's how I'm going to pose mine most of the time. Except for maybe storage for the boxes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, really cool figure. He is pretty, pretty big. I got this from SeerToys.com, so I'm going to put the link in the description below if you're interested. Go and pick it up. Highly recommend. Fun set of four figures if you have them even the single figures are pretty cool but the whole set combining like this is just ah. <laughs> so yeah you know the song like subscribe leave a comment blah 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 all right thank you for watching and i'll see you next time